Alright. We're trying to make a Ventoy with a Chromebook. Alright, let's check it out. Let's see how we're supposed to do this. Or at least this is the, rec the method I recommend for the reliability. Now, if this is a Chromebook that might be like an enterprise Chromebook, like a school or something, you might not be able to do this method, but keep watching and I'll show you the other method. Um, but you want to get the Chromebook recovery utility, you just look it up, get it straight off the Chrome Web Store, boom, it's got a million users, okay? So don't, don't, don't get one that's like 10 users, it's not good. Get a million users Chromebook recovery utility, alright? Add the Chrome, problem solved. Next, you go ahead and download Ventoy, GitHub Ventoy releases, head down the releases page whoop, to livecd.iso, and then it should, you know, it should be the most recent one, so just whoop, bing, don't click the green button, just, just go livecd.iso. Um, now, the purpose of this file is to, like, legitimately burn a CD, DV, uh, but we can't do that, uh, it's on a Chromebook, they don't, well, Chromebook has a DV drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Chromebook Utility Recovery for a flash drive. But before the Chromebook Recovery Utility can read it, we have to change the file. It's already downloaded the file. So you need to right-click it, choose a rename. I need to add .bin to the end of the file. Alright, bin. So now when we open up the Chromebook Recovery Utility, this is the first thing you see. Uh, oh, here, let me show you. You gotta click on it from here. So you click on the your extensions icon, and then you click on Chromebook Shelby. So there we go. So then what you wanna do is, uh, don't, none to get started, you just click on the gear up here, and say use local image. And now that you're on your local image, you can scroll down and select the bin file we downloaded. There you go, open. Now confirm it bin toy live ISO dot bin. Select the media. I have my 64 gig flash drive. And it's really small. So it should go really fast. Um, you know, just like that. Boom. Done. Okay. Done. Now if we go to look, there's our thing. Ventoy Live CD, right there, read only. So that, that should be successful. It says read only and it says Live CD should be set. So let me remove my get downloads folder, close that, and close this. And now I got to eject. Right there is no eject on a Chromebook, you just unplug it. What? Whatever. It's done. It's read only. There's no way it could be bad. So I'm going to unplug my Chromebook, close the lid, I'm going to plug in a, a PC that's got a, some kind of issue. Because you also need a PC to convert it to uh, fully usable again. So plug it to the USB port, alright, and his PC's got to be off. So PC's off. Um, now even if the PC is kind of broken, like say like it doesn't start Windows, that's fine because it's just going to start up from the flash drive to finish the job. Um, so it should work on basically any computer because it just it doesn't need to have a working hard drive. Like, it could be missing the hard drive, and we can do this step. So I'm just doing a, a F12 for this Lenovo computer. So you select your EFI USB device if you have it. If you don't, if you have two, so like there's this USB, this USB, always choose the one that says EFI, UEFI, that kind of thing. Um, if it doesn't specify that, then it's probably not good. So, you know, it should be higher up in the list. Um, so I'll do that. And uh, it's going to load up. And for video purposes, I'm going to switch it to the zoom in because on this computer, it shows up as a really small window. I'm going to switch over my zoom. Yeah, it's cutting off loading, but you'll be able to see what you need to see. Now, I have a mouse pointer. Okay, perfect. So, it says, Ventura device blank. What do you mean? We just put Ventura. I know, it looks weird, but this is what we have to do. 
So we'll do option. Let's just make sure that we have MBR selected. That's the most compatible one. GPT. And you can switch it to GPT if your computer doesn't work. But um, MBR is preferred. Uh, you want to leave secure boot on. So it should be set. So I just can say install. And you can install to the flash drive you just burned. Like, look, I don't have another flash drive in the computer. This is the same 64 gigabyte I set up on the Chromebook. So we're going to install. Say OK. OK again. Da -da -da. Success. And boom. So now it has it there and there. So now I can uh, close it, which will go to restart this uh, computer. Let me switch it back to full size. Okay. And again, we have EFI, uh, USB. Click that. All right. And uh oh. So now, so we have a Ventoy, but it's empty. There's no, there's no files on the flash drive. It's blank. So now it's set up at least, so we can use it. Um, but we don't have any files on it yet. So I'm going to now shut down my Lenovo computer, plug the flash drive back into the Chromebook, let me just, uh, okay, unplug that, put that on the table, alright, plug, actually don't plug the HDMI just yet, let me log into my Chromebook first before I plug that in, okay, click, alright, so, HDMI to the Chromebook, and plug the Ventoy in. There. So now I have USB disk, and now I have Vtoy EFI and Ventoy. This is what the uh, program we just ran on the other computer did. So this is read on it, but you can click on Ventoy itself, and there you go. So now we can do something like this, and make another files. Uh, wait, is this is this not a thing? How do I? Hold on. I guess you can only do one thing at once. So I'm just going to go to my ISO. Uh, let's see. Let's go. Let's get this one. That's nice and small. Copy. So this is on Linux. Uh, so I also have Windows there. I'll copy that one. Uh, hold on. Do like this. Hold control on your keyboard and you can select two things. So copy. And then go to my flash drive, go to Ventoy, paste it. And this will take, you know, a few minutes to do, so I'm just going to pause while it does that file copy. Alright, here we go. Windows 11, departed, all finished up. And uh, this is how you reject your, uh, like, the finished copying. I already downloaded them earlier, and I just copied them to the flash drive now. So I can, uh, let me click here, and then do that. Uh, that's ready to go. So now I can unplug this, unplug this, close the lid of the Chromebook, and we're going to plug the PC back in, Lenovo PC back in. Alright, and turn it on. Alright, here we go. USB again. Boom. So there's our, our Windows and our Linux. G parted live there. It's that one's actually Windows would start faster. Um, always do normal mode. If things don't seem to work right, then use the other modes, but normal mode is the preferred. And there we go. Our loading Windows 11 on us. Maybe I'm not going to install Windows 11, but we'll see the, the Windows 11 installer load. He's like, yeah, 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 whatever. And we're not going to actually install it because, yeah. So, say you couldn't use the Chrome Recovery Utility. Actually, no, I'll do that in just a minute. So, yeah, 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 whatever. So, we're done here. Show real quick. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay. So, now, say you can't use the uh, Chromebook recovery utility. You can do something else. But it has more limited compatibility with the computer you're plugging it into. Um, effectively, it's about 2012 is the line in the sand. So if you have like one of these really old or that old, so look around see if you can still find the original Intel sticker. Um, yeah, if it has like one of these three, it's and these two definitely not going to work with the way that we're doing it. This one, it's a coin flip. Uh, this one and after should all work. So it has like a square or it's a tall one should be fine. But if it's these wide ones like this, eh, probably not. If it's these back, back when they had the sort of curve to them, definitely not going to work. Another good tell is like uh, these are like this is like Windows Vista, uh, Windows 7, and then this is like Windows 8, uh, Windows 10, Windows 11, that kind of thing. Uh, if you have AMD processor, it has to be Ryzen. Um, Again, theoretically, it could be an older one, just not by, but if it's a Ryzen, you should be able to do this no problem. Um, but if it's like one of the older ones, it's hard to really date it well. It's like, okay, wait, how old is it? You're like, ah, I don't know. So you can try it with an older one, or if you don't know what the AMD is. Uh, if you don't know either, uh, the Windows version it was. So this would be like, this marks Windows 8, uh, this marks like Windows 10. Um, so if it's like, oh, dude, this is 7. Uh, this was, uh, you know, XP. Probably not going to work. So, in preparation, you're going to need a flash drive. This one already is a Ventoy, um, but uh, I'm going to format it. So you click it on the, on, the, on the flash drive itself, right here at the top. And you can click your options here. Uh, K, gaming. Uh, really? Really? This doesn't work. Okay. Uh, this flash drive's already Tom Fugrized. Interesting. Uh, come on. What, what if I click on this one? Can I format this? I can't format this. Okay, this will work. This will work. So, format as that. So, yeah, it needs to be FAT32. Don't do these other options. FAT32. And we'll just name it that for consistency. So we have that. And then this one. You want to format this one too. Um, so we'll just format both of them. And we'll just call it a small fat 32. And, but yeah, we'll use the bigger one for simplicity's sake. So we have that, and what you do is you take your, um, you still need the live CD ISO, but we're not going to do the bin thing like we would if we were using the Chromebook recovery utility. We're just going to leave it as ISO. So what you can do is you can right click, uh, no, not that, uh, you just double click on it, and it like shows the contents. And all I got to do is grab the EFI folder and drag it over like that. Again, this only really works on, uh, you know, those like Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11 computers. Your Windows 7 computer might work with it. Um, it's just a, a coin flip as to whether or not it'll work. Um, yeah, they're lying in the sand. It'd be like 2012 or so is when it started to get reliable. But it doesn't mean if you have a 2011 computer, it's not going to work. It's impossible for it to work. I just mean that uh, it's unlikely to work. So we're, we're going to go ahead and check that. Okay, clean those up. So, all right, so done with Chromebook again. Unplug it. Ah, hit my leg, whatever, it's fine. Okay, plug the Lenovo back in. This is the other PC, all right? HDMI port, go. All right, Lenovo's booting up. All right, uh, there we go, our EFI flash drive. Boom, worked.
Very good. Very good. Hmm. Maybe it's taking a little bit longer, but it's working all the same. And all right. Now it's loaded. Let's switch it to zoom. So it's like I don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> Question mark. It's clueless. It doesn't know what's happening. So we will turn on secure boot, and we will say MBR is good, and install it. So yeah, we just copy those files over to it. Now we're erasing it. It's not going to have those files, but it's going to have a full Ventoy installation. Um, so very nice. Okay. The boom. Ventoy in device. They mean like the device, like the flash drive you plugged in. All right. Um, so yeah, that's how you can. Um, that's it, really, Like this, this PC that I'm recording on, this Lenovo, that I'm demonstrating with. Like, say it, it had Windows. Windows is broken. Whatever. Uh, this kind of thing. Uh, or it's just missing a hard drive. Whatever the case may be. Um, so now you can use the Ventoy. You can download Windows, put the Windows file on the Ventoy, and now you can reinstall Windows. You can do Linux software. You can do like data recovery. And now you can like uh, try to fix your PC with your Chromebook effectively. Because um, a lot of times people will say, "Okay, well I have, oh I have, uh, I have my PC and it's broken," and then they like look up a video on how to fix it. It's like, "Oh, okay, take the original DVD." Take the original uh, DVD from uh, when you got the computer and put that in. It's like okay, that's not relevant nowadays. We don't computers don't come with DVDs, let alone DVD drives. Um, so they're like, oh, plug in your Windows installer. It's like what? I don't have one of those. Uh, it's not just laying around. The only people who have those would be like, say they built like a desktop computer. Like they they went and they bought a the motherboard, they bought the processor, they bought all the parts they put together themselves. You know, they're the only people who will likely have the Windows. Uh, already on a flash drive, because um, like when they bought their like $140 like Windows license, like Windows 11, Windows 10, like license, it came with the flash drive. Right? Um, if you don't have that, then what are you supposed to do? Um, something like this, theoretically. Uh, you call the manufacturer, like like you. Could, um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if Dell still does it, but I know Lenovo. Like yeah, Lenovo computer, you can literally like on your phone web browser or like probably easier to just call them and say, yep, uh, I'd like to buy the Restore Media and I don't know what they'll charge you, but it's a lot more than just, you know, what, 15 minutes of your time? Well, I guess it's closer to 20 now. So this is how to do Ventoy from a Chromebook. Um, uh, this, yeah, it's fairly universal, so I showed you. That other method should just work, um, you know, even if it's like a uh, like these disabled extensions, so you don't have to use Chromebook recovery utility. It's just less compatible with various computers. Um, and then the first method um, that should work as well. Uh, that should be more easy because uh, I don't even work on older computers that still have USB ports. Um, that's about it. How much else to, to really say about this? It's done. Here we go. So, yeah, end in the video. Thanks for watching.